Alright guys, welcome back. This is part two of my EDC, my everyday carry. Uh, part one I talked about what I carry in my pockets, uh, my pants and my pants, and I showed you the evolution of my backpacks uh, and how this one came about. As you can see, there are some stuff I've added to this. Uh, for those of you who do not know, this is the Camelback Tri-Zip. Uh, it is made by Mystery Ranch for Camelback. And Tri-Zip, so those of you who, are not, who aren't aware, there's a zipper down a little bit. Zipper here that goes this way, zipper here that goes that way, and then a zipper down the middle that goes this way to completely open this up to give you access in here. I really like the backpack. It's durable. It works well for me. Um, and it's just the way it's evolved over time to work out for me. So before I start getting into all the other stuff here that I've done modifications and added add-ons and whatnot, uh, I do want to show you here on the bottom I have a bicycle pump. I tend to ride my, my bicycle around a lot, especially in the nicer weather. If I should need a pump, I've got it with me. It also has a little bit of stuff for repairing flats and whatnot. And, uh, you know, so I mean, I want to get, I'm going to probably put some different straps on here to hold this thing in. But, you know, there, there's that. So some of the other things I've done to it, you'll actually notice on this side, right here, I've got, I believe it's ITW who makes them. This is one of their little carabiners. And there's a web dominator, and I've got another web dominator out here on the other side. Show you that real quick. These are these two web dominators are really spares more than anything else. Carabiners just here for should I need it. Front straps. One of the things some of you may notice if you're from those of you who are familiar with the backpack is, or some of you who don't know, is you're like, hey, there's like no waist strap. Well, actually, these come with a waist strap. I just took mine off, and it's really simple because waist strap's a whole separate waist belt, and there's Velcro in here so that. It'll actually feed right through here, and the Velcro, which you can kind of hear, uh, it's on this side, so it will hold it in, as well as it clips on here and here, just to make it really sturdy. And those of you, some of the other reviews out there that I've seen of these uh, bags, they talk about the fact that underneath in here you've got a water bladder, and because this is Camelback branded, I mean, it's, like I said, it was made for by Mystery Ranch for Camelback, but in here there's a spot, There's a, you can see it right here through the handle, you can see a zipper right there. That's to actually access an internal pocket where there's a water bladder that comes with it, one of the Camelback ones. Most people who talk about this will show you these little pockets up top here, so you can run a hose for your thing. They also have another pair of them down below. So, on to uh, additional stuff I've done. As you can see, I've got a deal here. This is my MP3 player. Just a simple uh, iPod iTouch, 4th gen, carry on there. I've got this deal on here by Nathan. It's actually meant to go around your arm for holding your MP3 player phone, what have you. You can hook up your, your thing. One of the nice things about it is uh, this part right here, which holds your cord, so you don't have this big, long cord all dangling all over the place. Uh, the headphones are earbuds, and they're nice. Uh, I got the... I actually had another pair before this that didn't have this slightly more, the, the little more expensive feature right here with this part so that I can uh, start and stop my music, fast forward to uh, uh, jump tracks, turn the volume up and down, and if this were a phone, I can actually talk in through this as a microphone. So it works out well. Uh, I don't, I like this, but I don't like this all at the same time. Uh, I, I don't care for this particular method band. This is getting all stretched out here from wrapping it around here twice. So my plan is, is once I get done waterproofing, hey look, Oakley, uh, once I get done waterproofing this, uh, which is one thing I did to the whole backpack, I sprayed it down with Kiwi Camp Dry, uh, gave it the spray, sprayed the whole thing, gave it four hours, sprayed it another, sprayed it all over again, then gave it 48 hours to cure. So it's pretty, not only durable, but now it's much more water resistant. Uh, but I'll do the same thing with this, so I can put my iPod in here, and I'm probably going to do like a, a tech lock or something along those lines here with this strap to hold that in. And because it doesn't have that cord retention system, I just got the little, what are they, the curvy guy, I guess it is. Uh, night, night Eyes Curvy Man. So you just, you know, you put in the, the cord here and then wrap it around and then out the bottom. So I've got that. I'll end up probably mounting it just like so. On here because you know I like the Oakley stuff. On the other side I've got, and mind you I've got Grimlocks on both of these that work out well. Uh, in this case it's it lets me clip on my or hang on my uh, headphones and this one is just kind of an additional guard for this and it does have another 
uh, function, which I'll show you in a moment. But on this side here, I've got the CRKT Stiff Kiss knife. And should I need a knife, this is going to be quicker and faster for me to pull. Uh, pull out. No one ever seems to really notice it, or if they do, they just don't say anything about it. But it's just, it's there, it's simple, it's easy, I can grab it if I need to stab something or cut something, it's right there right away when I need it. I did pick myself up some more paracord, and so one of my plans is, is that I'm going to go on ahead and do a paracord wrap on this. The top pocket, I don't carry anything in here. Flipping the backpack back around, I've got over here a benchmark, or pardon me, bench made. They're uh, the, the number seven for their it's their seat belt cutting type tools. So just do that. Get your seat belt in there, cut, slice. These things are supposed to work really great. I've seen other people use them. They do a really awesome kick butt job of cutting the seat belt. I've got that as a just in case. I've got this attached on here. It comes with a malice clip, but the malice clip was kind of finicky about how it worked. So I've got it attached to it with a Max Pedition tack tie. I could probably have gone with the three inch instead of a five inch, but got that on there. Yeah, and I said the web dominators on either side, they're spares. This is now my first aid kit, which is part of the reason why I've got this red uh, paracord weave. I'm going to be getting a nice little cross type thing on here for that. This is by far very simple and is missing a lot of stuff that I still want to put onto it. But uh, you can see, opening it up, I've got a hemostat, I've got two pair of uh, tweezers here. I've got a little pin in this pocket. I've got some Band-Aid ointment, first aid ointment, some lotion, a clean nap, Tylenol capsule, some more cleansing wipes. I got some antacid, some more bear. This was the last one. It's another Tylenol. On this side, I've got two of these, and they're really simple from Cactus Pete's. It's like a hotel down in Arizona. I stayed in one time. And I just found that I still happen to have these after all these years, and they're really simple. They just have like some little uh, cotton balls and some Q-tips and the emery board. So both of them have that. And then on this side, I've got Band-Aids. I've got some medical tape in there. And then uh, a whole bunch of different band-aids and some, just a whole bunch of them. And then some sterile pads, gauze sterile pads. So, really simple. Like I said, this is lacking a lot. It needs more. Uh, there is a pouch over here. This will hold like a 32-ounce Nalgene bottle, whatnot. I don't normally carry anything in there, but should I need to, I can carry stuff in there. And mind you, I'm more urban oriented, so this allows me to carry extra stuff as I go out throughout the day. Um, this is, if I went out in the woods with this, it wouldn't, it would only help so much. So now my admin pocket has all the fun goodies to it. Open this up. And first off, there's the little key clip here, and I've got hand sanitizer. I've got a pair of little carabiner clips. And I've got this really cool little device here. It clips on through like a carabiner clip. And on this side you have USB, and you pull the cord out. On the other side you've got micro and mini USB. So I can use this to plug in my cell phone and charge it up. Somewhere, anywhere. And then further on the pouch I've got right here, this is actually a be the Benchmade uh, Torx head. Mostly I keep this in here between needing it for knives as well as the fact that just so I Totally forgot I had it, so this way I won't lose it. And we go down further, and I have this cool little deal here. And it's got screwdriver tips. You've got Phillips and flathead screwdriver tips to it. It also has a light, which probably just needs a new battery, if that ever works. So kind of see if it does work a little bit. This is Goal Zero, the Guide 10. I always have four AA batteries should you need it. I can plug in to uh, charge up my cell phone through here, and it allows for charging port ports there to recharge it. And all the way over, it has a little flashlight as well. I have lighter. Waterproof matches. 
little zip drive, USB drive, pictures and documents on there. I carry an Oakley gla uh, sunglass cleaning kit. It's got the tool on here, a little screwdriver. You got your microfiber cloth. And one of the things that a lot of people won't forget about is this, the bottle of the liquid. You can refill these for free if you get this. They refill them for free at Oakley. And it's really good and handy in terms of the fact that I can clean my glasses, I can clean my iPod, uh, what have you. I just clean up a lot of different stuff with it. And then we've got my pen, another one of these Uniball Micros. I've got a Sharpie. I've got, and this is really stiff in here, but the 511 ATAC light. Quite a nice, bright, nice little light. And then my other Columbia River knife and tool. And this is the one I'm going to go back to every day carry once I get the screws on here. So the one that I carry in my pocket is going to end up going into here, but for now this goes in there. And so that's it with the admin pouch. One of the cool things I do like with these is how big these loops are, so I can put this through my my compression strap. I'll open this all the way up. And I've got in here my camera bag and I'll get into another video and show you about this and how it's built. And then I've got in here four little booklets that have various bus routes uh, and timetables. So if I'm jumping on the bus I know what time the bus runs. So that's pretty much all I carry in here other than I've got a big pouch right here. And in this pouch, I actually don't have it in there, but I'll end up putting this in there, this little Oakley folio binder type thing, and it carries my iPad, which of course books, music, you know, whatever it is you've got on your iPad. So this is my Camelback Tri-Zip Everyday Carry, part two video, and in part three I'm going to go on ahead and show you guys about my camera bag.